Matt, uh, a lot of us in the media were talking, as inexperienced as you are with four games, how it's your team. We talked to Alex Givens. He called you a bulldog, and your voice is well heard. Talk about being so inexperienced, yet already having the team behind you and you feeling confident in that role. Uh, I just feel like a big part of it is just playing with confidence, you know, just doing my job, uh, doing what I need to do to, uh, for the team, and, you know, just being where I'm supposed to be. Right here on your left. Uh, Clint Switzer, Great American Sports Network in Kansas City. Can you just describe what a special place Oxford is, uh, Ole Miss, the Grove, a lot of tradition, a lot of pageantry, and kind of what that's been like for you acclimating into that? Yeah, I mean, it's for sure different from where I came from in California. But, um, you know, it's a really family-oriented place. Uh, you know, there's a, that Southern hospitality is a real thing. Didn't get to experience that until I went to my first restaurant. Um, yeah, and I, you know, I, I started to love Oxford when I first visited. To your right on the second row. I know you haven't uh, faced the competition yet, but have you thought about um, some of the other great quarterbacks in the SEC this year and thought, wow, I'm going to be amongst these guys play, playing with uh, some of the top talent in the country? Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, you know, Brady White from Memphis, he's actually a California guy that I'm looking forward to playing against. Uh, South Carolina, Jake Bentley, you know, that's a great, there's, the list goes on. And, you know, uh, you know, I feel like you can't worry about so much about your competition, just worry about yourself and, uh, you know, stay on a straight line and do what you're supposed to do and, you know, be the last to leave, watch film when, uh, when you're supposed to and, um, you know, just be ready for what's to come. Go right here in the middle. Patrick Brickman, WBMA. Uh, Matt, a, a, a redshirt freshman quarterback at SEC Media Days. That just doesn't happen all that often. How crazy is that for you to be here? Uh, I didn't think of it like that. You know, I wasn't, you know, I'm new to all this, so I didn't think being a freshman was a big deal until, you know, everyone started asking me about what, what it felt like. And, you know, I'm just really honored to, for Coach Luke and, you know, the coaching staff to pick me to represent Ole Miss in the football program. To your right on the third row. Hey, Matt, what was your level of familiarity with Coach Rodriguez? Probably too young to remember much about the West Virginia time, but being a West Coast guy, had you paid attention to him at all at Arizona and what he was doing out there, or was it a lot of learning for you once he got hired? Yeah, so, I, you know, I mean, I knew Khalil Tate, you know, great athletes from California. Um, so he told me a little bit of before he even got there of what it was, and it's, you know, it's all the same, but the only thing different from last year was that, you know, we – it's more per, uh, coverage reads rather than progressional reads. And um, it's not much of a transition, just, you know, different context, the way he teaches it. And, you know, Coach, coach Rod is a very hands-on coaching, is a perfectionist, and uh, I respond well to that type of coaching, as do most of the offense. So. On your right against the wall. Uh, Michael Brand, Senator Down South. So last offseason, it didn't matter how many games you guys could win. You wouldn't go to a bowl game. You wouldn't go to the SEC championship. But this year you can. Uh, does that change the offseason? Does that change your outlook on the season and how you prepare? Yes, sir. Um, you know, we're all coming in with that chip on our shoulder just because, you know, everyone's saying we're young and we're inexperienced, all that, all that other stuff. And uh, I feel like we're going to surprise a lot of people this year. We'll go to your left here standing up. Shelton Haygood with WBRC. You talked about it being a, an honor to be here at, at such a, a young age for your uh, playing career. Um, it's one thing we see this all around uh, college football, a lot of young quarterbacks that, that have the demeanor. Where does it come from? Because, yeah, you might have the talent, but the leadership that it takes over for a team at such a young age, where does that come from for you, and, and why do we see it so much more now? I just feel like the coaches I had, you know, they're responsible for what type of player I am uh, in the past. You know, they've built me to be this type of person I am today. And, you know, not only that, it's just, you know, the way I, the way I was raised by my parents. Uh, they always kept me grounded. And, um, you know, I've, I've always, I always had that wake-up call when, you know, when everything was going good and, you know, just to keep myself, you know, keep my, uh, my head on my shoulders. So I feel like that was, that was a big part of it. We have Matt for five more minutes. Is there anything else? Okay. To the left here, third row. Go ahead. Um, the SEC West seems to be taken over by Alabama, LSU, and Texas A&M. What's going to be the driving force and the motivator for the 2019 Rose team? You know, 
like I said, just playing with that edge that Coach Luke and uh, Rich Rod preach on us day in and day out, um, playing with that confidence, you know, because we're supposed to be here. And, uh, you know, like I said, everyone's calling us inexperienced, you know, have got a lot of the young players, but the ceiling's high for the potential uh, we have. DK, AJ, Demarcus Lodge, they were all freshmen once. So, you know, I'm, I'm very excited for the future to come for the Ole Miss Rebels. The Camera Bank, second row. Matt, Jim Holder, WTVA. How did those games last year, those four games, the experience, how did that help you leading into this year? Um, you, know, you know, just to get my feet wet and just experience what SEC West football is all about. You know, it's the next thing, it's the closest thing uh, to the NFL. And you can see that just by the Mississippi State's linemen, South Carolina's, Alabama's. Um, you know, it, and it's not so much the game gets faster, you just got to think faster. And I just think that's, that just comes into watching film and preparation. Front row right here. Jimmy Ott, ESPN Radio, Baton Rouge. Uh, two quick questions. First, how do you choose Ole Miss coming out of California? And two, how are you going to be featured in this offense compared to Jordan? Um, you know, going to your first question, um, you know, Ole Miss has always contacted me since my sophomore year. They've always been in my ear throughout high school. Never really took a look at them because I never thought I'd, you know, come to the South. And, you know, just the way the cards fell, uh, Coach, Coach Luke reached out to me in my junior year. And, uh, you know, I took a visit to Ole Miss because that's when I had just decommitted from Florida when that coaching change happened with Dan Mullen and McElwain. And, uh, you know, just visiting Oxford and just talking to Matt Luke, you know, he's a real genuine person. And you know, it's a very, fam like I said, a family-oriented place. And I, I wanted to get away from, you know, Los Angeles and just that little bubble it was and, uh, you know, play, play SEC West football, too. Yeah. Oh, and um, I feel like this, this offense isn't much different from last year. It's just... Uh, just the way he teaches it and what your reads are. So I feel like it's, it's not going to be much different. They're still going to be running, and there's still going to be a lot of throwing. To your right against the wall. Matt, Paul Stockman, WTVM, Columbus, Georgia. What have you seen from uh, Braylon Sanders? What's your relationship like with him, and uh, what's it going to take to, for him to have a, a breakout year in his junior season? Braylon Sanders is one of my, one of my, one of my good friends, for sure. Uh, one of the first friends I met when I came to Ole Miss. Uh, Brandon's been working hard this offseason for sure. He's been, <clears throat> he's been, he's been doing what he's supposed to be doing, you know. And like I said, this offense, our receivers are gonna have to know our coverage, and know just as much as me, so we're on the same page. And he's done a good job of that. And he, and he's, uh, you know, he's in the film room with me, just like Elijah Moore and Demarcus Gregory and Miles Battle, all those other guys, all those other young guys. And <clears throat> I, nothing but excitement for those, for Brandon Sanders. Going to your left, third row. AP Stedham, WHEP, AM and FM, Foley, Alabama. Who's given you the best advice about playing quarterback in the SEC, and what did they say? I feel like my senior, senior coaches, uh, my high school coaches, my senior year, laid the foundation for me of, for what's to come in the future. I had those NFL players, Antonio Pierce, Chris Claiborne, LeVar Arrington. You know, you know those guys knew what it was from the jump, so when I first got there. So they really, uh, you know, I was uh, recruited in high school a lot, and they knew that, so they treated me differently. They, they really put the pressure on me, if you will. Um, you know, if it was one thing that I could say is just, uh, you know, watching film. That's the main key for, for me personally, just they be able, being able to think faster when your reads and when the defense does something that wasn't expected is how you react to that. So I feel like just watching film and uh, steady, getting your head in the playbook. We have time for two questions. We're going here on the second row. You mentioned the coaching change at Florida caused you to want to reconsider Ole Miss. What was it about that moment that made you realize that Florida might not be the right fit for you? Uh, um, you know, I just it – was, it, was, it was hectic at the time because it was close to signing day. And, I, you know, there was a sh short amount of time. And I just didn't want to, you know, put everything into Florida just quite yet, just because, you know, there was no head coach. So I didn't know what to do at that time. Final question over on the left. AJ Spurn, 90.7, WVUA FM, Tuscaloosa. 
Matt, has any of the, have any of the other uh, quarterbacks in the SEC reached out to offer any advice to you? No. No. <laughs> uh, I mean, am I, am I good friends with them? A few of them, yeah. But, I mean, I mean, not really. No one's really reached out for advice or gave me advice, at least. Matt, thanks for your time. Good luck this year. Thank you. Okay.